Hello everyone, it's GigaBeef here, and today we're taking a look at how to heal faster. You may have noticed that when you take damage across your entire body, it takes an incredible amount of time to heal back up to full again. This is because by default, you have to take out your medkit, do the heal animation, put the medkit away, and bring your gun back up again, which takes ages, especially if you need to do it on all seven body parts. Now, in a previous video, I have talked about animation cancelling, which helps quite a bit, as you only need your medkit to do the heal animation until it has healed the specific body part. Left clicking outside of the menus here shortens the animation and puts the kit away faster, but there is an even quicker way to do it that I'll show you in a second. To compare the different methods, if you don't do anything at all, with a grizzly healing backup takes about 75 seconds across all damaged body parts, in part because the grizzly's animation is extra long compared to other medkits, and that's not even counting any CMS repairs that you need to do on black limbs, which are around 16 seconds per usage. With a Salewa, the full heal process without cancelling takes around 57 seconds, but when shortening these animations actively takes a total of 42 seconds instead, which is a big deal, about 25% faster. However, we can reduce this down by another 20%, to 33 seconds overall, using the same idea that used to work for carpet bombing with grenades back when you could spam them over and over before the restrictions were added. A large part of the general healing animation is putting away your weapon and getting it back out again, so if you don't have a gun at all, the process is much faster. Keeping an eye on when the heal goes through, you can then left click outside of the menu to cancel the animation and instantly start pressing the med hotkey again, which will start the next heal way quicker than normal. The only unfortunate thing about this is that you can't have any weapons equipped at all. You can empty your hands by moving your primary gun to the secondary slot, but if you have a melee equipped, your PMC takes that out instead, and if you don't have a melee weapon, or you've put it in your bag already, after each action your character re-equips the weapon from the other slot, which is quite unhelpful in this specific circumstance. This means that you either have to drop your guns on the floor, or put them in your bag, so you'd better make sure that no one is going to sneak up on you when you're doing it. Hello. There are also certain actions you can do whilst healing and some that you can't. Searching for loot through containers and bodies can be done if you're already in the menu and start the heal beforehand. If you're already in the healing animation, you can't open containers, and if you search first then you're not allowed to use your medkit. But healing first still allows you to search afterwards. This helps to speed up the looting of enemy PMCs, in particular after a fight, because you can combine the healing and looting process at the same time. The other useful one is repacking mags after a fight. You can't heal and repack at the same time, and reloading cancels healing, but there is an overlap in the animation between repacking and getting the medkit out. In this way, you can in fact use the repack to animation cancel the healing once the limp's HP is back to 100 from within the menu, and you can get ready for the next engagement faster by combining these two together. Next up, doing all this testing with meds got me thinking about movement. When are we allowed to move, and at what speed with heals? We all know that using a CMS kit in general and applying splints to legs prevents movement completely, but regular medkits allow us to walk at the same time as using them. You can even start the healing animation of a medkit while sprinting by using the hotkey binds, but at some point when the healing itself kicks in, you're forced to walk for a bit, basically until you left click to cancel the animation when you can start sprinting again. Interestingly though, if you jump just before the moment when the walking section kicks in, the healing animation starts to play anyway while you're in mid-air, and your PMC continues forwards at a decent speed. This effectively overlaps the period of time when you would normally be walking with the jump, shortening the amount of time that you are forced to travel at the slower speed. This works even better if you can get a bunny hop jump to work, which is where you jump from your left foot while sprinting. You can tell if you did it right because it sounds slightly different and you go faster than normal through the air. Combining both of these techniques together means that, if you can get your timing exactly right, it is technically possible to sprint, hotkey to heal, wait for the animation to nearly start, bunny hop, and then cancel the animation just before you land on the ground. This gets off a little heal in midair without slowing down, in fact it doesn't even cancel your sprint at all, so you just keep on running upon landing. Now this is pretty niche, but it might be worth practicing. At the very worst, you'll mistime it and it'll be the same as if you hadn't tried to jump at all, or you'll heal in the air for slightly too long and just get the extra air distance from the jump. With little downside, I think it's worth having a go. Next up, go and check out my video on which heals heal the most in one go, and how to reload in the middle of healing. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.